we definitely don't want somebody in a classroom that is uh, totally unsatisfactory or serious deficiencies. And, and in fact, in all my years of 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 doing this, uh, I've never I've never had a whine. Never had a whine. So it's just uh, that's almost like you, you go in there and you, you're you know reading Mickey Mouse comics to them or something where you're really not doing the job at all. So. Um, Hopefully that that'll never be part of it too. And again, if you have any questions as we go through, feel free to raise your hand. Okay, second page. Actually, the back side. The evaluation sequence, and that's critical. During that time, I'm going to be keeping a log of the dates that I was in your classroom, times that we met, the activity, and I'm going to put down whether it was a post conference, maybe just an informal conference. I'll probably put down before school starts, but I sit down with you the date we sat down. And it was right before you started, like I said, during that pre-time. Pre and I'm going to say uh, we talked about, this is also for me, so I know what I've done. Uh, we talked about the instrument. I gave you a copy of the instrument, so I'll probably put down, uh, gave uh, you know, Mary a copy of the instrument. So I'm going to know that during that time, she got a copy of the instrument, as well as Jim did, and I've got it recorded when they have it because I don't want them to come back and say, you know, I never did get a copy of that. And I'm just simply going to, this is my record that yes, that yes, she did. Uh, if you've lost yours or misplaced, we don't lose things, we misplace things. And sure, here's another. I have no problem with that. But at least you, you had one. Time in. Time in is the time that you sat down and we sat down for a conference. Maybe 8.05, you had a music time, and you came in at, at 8.07. Came in 8:07, and we sat there and we we talked until you had to leave to pick up your kids for music. So we went till 8:25. So I'll put the time. And every time I meet with you during the, even the observations, the post conference, the pre conference, the signature conference, I'm going to fill this out because this is the log, and and you also can keep the same type of thing. This is a log of, of actually when when you and I sat down to meet. Page three has to do with um, attendance and punctuality and I'm not necessarily going to read all these because you can and I expect you to, to, to keep this uh, at the very top though note under the activity the heading called activity this is the pre post conferences the formal observations the informal observations the evaluation conference teachers conference I've already talked about all those so in other words you're going to know uh, just like I said before in this back page of two this is all the things that, that we were talking about Tennis and punctuality, you're going to look at some of these things and say, well, I, voila, you know, I, I'm going to do that. Number one is present on all scheduled work days unless unauthorized be absent with the district. You're doing that now. And what you're doing to me, and I, I'm guessing these other coordinators do the same thing, when you know you're not going to be there, you give me a call. And you say, look, I'm ill or I've got this situation. And you give me a call. And that is, and, and I'm going to say, fine, you know, if it's something you need to make up fine. If it's got one of those freebie that, that's fine. So in other words, you're telling me. And I know that you're not going to be there. That's the same thing as being authorized to be absent by the district. Now you notice that's, uh, there's only two lines there. And that's either, either you are or you aren't. You're either at school or you're not at school. You know, it's just, it's a, it's, it's, it's an A or a Z. A number two, follows established procedures uh, and being approval for absences. Again, according to board policy. Make sure that when you get that first job that you do get a copy of the contract. You do know where the board policies are. You do know where the building policies are. The schools are run by board policy. You may have a contract. You may have a contract from your union, or from the teachers, but the board policy will supersede that. Now generally they, they are always following board policy, but the board policy is the one that's going to drive that school. The contract drives the buildings of the district, but the board policy is what, what makes or breaks the school. So make sure that you know those, and I'd have a copy of those. Number three, observes arrival departure times from building according to the contract. Very simple. Again, I'm going to use Mattoon. Mattoon has a contract that states that you have to be on campus. You have to be in your room by 7.50 a.m. I'm talking elementary. I think high school is a little different. High school is 740, is it? 740. So they're just a little different.
but you have to be on campus. That doesn't mean screeching into the parking lot and running out and making sure you shut off the lights type thing to run in. But you need to be at your workstation ready to go because that's the start of your workday. No different than going to a Donnelly's or any other factory and punching a time clock. Now, most places we don't have time clocks. I, don't, I, I never had a time clock, and I don't think too many schools do. But you need to be at place. The other part of Mattoons, again, we use Mattoon, their dismissal time for students is obviously different than dismissal time for teachers. If it's a normal day, teacher's day is 3.50. So you are on campus from 7.50, to 3.50 or for eight hours. Students obviously not that much time. But that way, that tells parents that they know that you can, if they need to talk to you, if their child comes home from school and they have a homework and they start to work on it and they don't understand, they know that they can call back to the school because you are going to be there until 3.50, a minimum of 3.50. And that is unless, and this does happen, you have many things after school such as, um, staffings, you have some teachers meetings, you have some things that you're not on campus, but at least they know where you are. So you may not be there every day, but at least they know where you are at the end of the day. Your administrator is the person that's in charge of you. The, the classroom teachers they're just, they're, just, they're just like you. Make sure that your administration, that you have a copy of what are the building policies and what are the district policies. And that is true. I'm only talking for Mattoon. I know some schools, as long as the teachers are there 15 minutes before the kids get there and 15 minutes after the kids get there or leave, that's fine. But you need to know what that is. I've also heard of districts say that the teachers almost beat the kids out the door to get to their cars. And that's not good either. If you're doing that, and there's nothing that says that you can't. Trust me, your, your administrator probably knows that. And that is all in contract language. If you have a prep period and a lunch period back to back, Prep period for high school is many times 50 minutes or, or more. Lunch period is 45 minutes. So you got a big time? Yeah. Well, I'll go get my shopping done and do all these other things. Be careful with that because uh, there's language that says, no, you can't do that. They can't stop you from your lunch period because you get a duty-free lunch period if you want it. Many times teachers say, well, I'd like to work during my lunch period, do noon hour supervision, and you can do that and make extra money. But that's your choice. So make sure what the contract says as, as far as that. Uh, number four, here's the building class schedules. That's a given. If I come into your room on unannounced and think I'm going to see you teach reading and, and you've got, uh, you know, you're cutting out Easter rabbits, uh, obviously that's not the schedule. Number five, attends committees, special ed, and, and staff meetings as scheduled. That's a given. Being punctual, um, that's, that's also uh, very important. Number six, gives notice and re receives approval from administration before leaving building during the contractual workday. Again, check your contract because that is something that uh, you would need to do. Page four has to do with instructional planning. Instructional planning, uh, and you can see there's three criteria there, three areas there that have to do with, this is the part that, uh, that gets you started. This is the things that you're going to prepare before you're ready to teach. 